The ability to share directly to a social network can be very useful. It allows you to get your image out there for feedback or to share it with loved ones, friends, or coworkers. Now, the Mac version has the most options available currently in Aurora HDR, but the Windows version has a few choices as well, with more coming in the future. You'll find this option in the upper right corner. Just click the button here for Share. Here's another option for exporting directly to an image. You can also find this under File, Share To, and you'll see some of the other choices here. You have the ability to attach it to a mail message or to a text message, Twitter or Facebook, these are the two that are currently available on the Windows platform, or targeting sharing services like Flickr, SmugMug, or 500px. The open in command also will allow you to share it with different applications, but these applications may vary depending upon the platform that you're working on. This is a great tool here, and it makes it easy to hand things off. Remember, you also may find it useful to visit the plugins menu, and this may give you some options for sending to other tools. In this case, some of the other software made by Skylum, formerly MacFun, and these are some plugins and other products that can run inside of Aurora HDR. These tools, other than Luminar, are currently Mac only, but there is a great interplay between Luminar and Aurora HDR, as we explored earlier in the course. Knowing how to export your files, both as a ready-to-share format and a ready-to-print format, as well as capturing a native file for future edits is very important. I also suggest periodically as you work, save. You don't want to lose data because of a mistake, such as the laptop battery going dead or something foolish like closing a program and forgetting to save. Always make sure you capture your work so you can have it in the future.